Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're still watching DG360. And as we've been telling you, 413.36 billion naira has been set aside uh, for the payment of subsidy in the supplementary budget submitted by President Buhari uh, to the National Assembly on Wednesday. Now, in the country at the moment, there is a massive queue for petrol. The reason is just because marketers are no longer importing. And the complaint is that they have not been paid their subsidy. So not until these 413.36 billion gets to the marketers, we may continue to have the fuel queues. I'm now being joined on the program by uh, Mr. Gabriel Idahosa, who is an economist, to help us make sense of this subsidy issue. Um, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the program, Mr. Idahosa. 413.36 billion is a lot of money. How do we deal with this subsidy problem? That, well, the, the, the subsidy is not really a problem. It's uh, a creation before this government came in. And we thought that the first thing the government will do is to uh, scrap it uh, at the time that the president took office. Clearly, this subsidy is not really a subsidy to the people of Nigeria because once you travel out of the major cities, the state capitals, and you move a few miles into the rural areas, nobody buys those uh, petroleum products at the control prices. So the subsidy is only for the small number of people in the system who continue to rip the country off of these hundreds of millions of, of uh, naira and dollars uh, over time. So. Uh, we expected that this subsidy would have gone uh, once uh, the president uh, took office. To you now, does it really make sense that, uh, you know, of the supplementary budget we're talking about here, 88% uh, of the supplementary budget is going, going on subsidy? Uh, well, of, if you want to pay these uh, subsidies, you clearly have to get uh, a supplementary budget to do it because the, the, there was no funds in the existing budget to do it. So if you have to ever pay it, you have to go through this process of getting the uh, budget approved by the House, otherwise the President cannot pay it. So the process itself has to be done. But it is the fact that you have to pay so much money for a subsidy that really is not a subsidy because the people you want to subsidize don't get the benefit of that subsidy. But the National Assembly has no, uh, no room to maneuver because they have to approve it. Otherwise, the petroleum marketers don't get paid, they do not import products, and then the country runs dry of products. Is this sustainable at all? It, it's, there's no way you can sustain it. It's, uh, it it's, even now, it's not sustainable. The government is having to borrow money uh, to pay the subsidy. It, it was not sustainable, it is not sustainable, it will not be sustainable because there are so many other priorities for any revenue that government makes, far above uh, subsidizing a, a small number of people involved in the subsidy business, the marketers, the government officials that approve these subsidies. Uh, so it will never ever be uh, sustainable if, if you want to use government resources for the benefit of the uh, people rather than a small number of people who are involved in the subsidies. The vast majority of Nigerians who live outside the major cities in Nigeria do not enjoy the subsidies. They have never enjoyed the subsidies. So uh, you can't sustain something just for the private benefit of a very small number of Nigerians and their foreign uh, suppliers of these products. Let me just get your opinion finally now before I let you go. What, what's your take on the supplementary budget itself as a whole? Well, I, I don't, uh, I mean, you have, uh, you are in November, you have December, uh, one and a half months of the year, and uh, how do you really justify a supplementary budget? Uh, we should be talking about the budget for next year and the work to get into it. Uh, the fact that we are talking of a supplementary budget at this time is just flows from the fact that uh, since uh, June, when this government was elected, uh, these actions that have been done now were not taken in time. 
if we were talking of a supplementary budget in July or June or even early August, when you still have like five, six months in the year, then a supplementary budget will have meaning. But I don't see what a supplementary budget will do at this time. Uh, it, it's just, uh, and that's why a lot of people are not really looking at it. It's, it's not going to achieve anything that, uh, that will be meaningful, apart from allowing petroleum products to continue to flow. A lot of the other things that are planned to be done with the supplementary budget simply cannot be done because we have only one month of real activity. By the middle of December, neither government officials nor private sector organizations are doing any serious business. And for in one month, I don't see how you can uh, reasonably spend those monies and get the kind of results that uh, uh, we are talking about. Even paying these subsidies, it, it take a while after the approval by the National Assembly normally for the process to be completed and the actual payments moving from the central bank to all the banks to the importers of petroleum products. So that, that's why no one is really looking at the subsidy, uh, the supplementary budget and the purpose as being significant in the realm of what this government is uh, really trying to do. Uh, it, it will just pass and then we begin to see what the budget for next year will look like. And in fact, we ought to see at this time the principles surrounding the next budget and some outline of the budget so that there can be meaningful input from the private sector if the government wants that input. Otherwise, we will come April or May next year and be talking of the budget for 2016 when the first quarter is gone. Because it will take about that time to get a budget passed from the day it lands at uh, the National Assembly. All right, Mr. Gabriel Dahosa, thank you very much for joining us on the program and thank you very much for your contributions. All right, we'll take another break and uh, we'll come back to continue the discussion. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions.